Getting proper exposure levels and focus can be a challenge in astronomical imaging, including spectroscopy. In this short video, I'm going to show you how RSpec can help to improve your images of spectra. I'm going to use a video camera in RSpec because video gives us immediate feedback, so it's easier to see in this tutorial, and it's easier to accomplish under the stars because you have that live feedback. You can use the same procedures if you're capturing static images or if you're using SharpCap that I'm going to show you here, but of course you won't have the immediate feedback. We're using a synthesized spectrum on my lab bench. It's not exactly like a star spectrum, but it's sufficient for what I want to show you. We can see that the camera is running because the frame counter is advancing and because our profile is changing with the seeing or noise. As you know, focusing and exposure levels are critical to get good images. The first step in spectroscopy is to focus on the star. My synthetic spectrum doesn't do that very well, so let's just pretend that we've already focused on the star. But after we've done that, we're not done, because when your star is in focus, your spectrum is not in focus. The only way to know if you focus properly on the spectrum is to examine the profile graph. I'm going to reach over to my lab bench and slowly adjust my focus. Keep your eyes over here on the profile. As I get the focus correct for the spectrum, an absorption line will appear right here. See that dip begin to appear? I'll keep turning until it's deepest. That's really the hydrogen beta absorption line on our synthetic spectrum. And that's why we emphasize you should start with a type A star, because they have very clear hydrogen beta absorption lines. And it's not even visible here until we focus properly on the spectrum. So as we've seen, start with focusing on your star, and then fine tune your focus on the spectrum using the profile graph. The other adjustment we need to make here is to make sure that the spectrum itself is properly exposed. The spectrum here looks very pretty. It's bright, but <laughs> we're not going for aesthetic beauty. The only thing that matters is the data. The absorption features in the profile graph should be deepest. And our spec has a great tool to help you get the best exposure level. First, I'm going to mark the region in the image that I want to examine. This is a two-step process. First, hold down the control key on your keyboard. Then use your left mouse button to box in the region of the spectrum. Now I'm going to open the pixel map with this button and click on the 3D tab. These rows here are the rows between the orange lines. And these columns are the columns across the image. And this flux intensity scale is the brightness of each pixel. This is an 8-bit video, so the maximum value for a full pixel well is 255. If we were using a FITS camera and we had the RSpec option screen set for 32-bit images, the maximum here would be 64,000. So this image, it looks pretty good, right? It's not overexposed because there are no values up at 255. So no pixels were saturated. But remember, if you're doing color imaging, then color images are made up of three channels, red, green, and blue. Let's look at each channel one at a time. Can you see how this color channel has a flat top here? That means the pixels are saturated. We'll have to reduce the exposure or gain until there are no saturated pixels. So I'll reduce the gain here. And now there's no flat top. This image is no longer overexposed. Now if I continue to reduce the gain, notice that the maximum pixel value is now far below 255. This image is probably underexposed. So now I'll run the gain up until we have pixels that are well exposed, but not overexposed. If you're using a mono camera, of course these three channels for red, green, and blue won't be here. You just have one adjustment. But with a color image, we want to look at each of the three channels. 
So now you've seen the tools in our spec that will help you make sure that your spectra are the highest quality possible with good focus and optimal exposures.